Hey there, mamas. We're gonna switch it up a little bit today. I'm gonna be doing a Katrina style fleece soaker. I use micro fleece for the waistband and the leg bands, and it makes it a little stretchier. You can pull it a little tighter. So in doing that, I then reduce the size. So if it was a small, I would do the extra small size. I also put a little bit wider of a waistband. And for the micro fleece, you could even go a little narrower on the, le on the leg cuffs, but it doesn't really matter. That part's not important. And then for my body, I actually cut it a little higher up than the pattern on the back and I dip it a little lower down in the front. And that's just what I found has fit my kids better. I'm not sure the pattern as is might be best for you. And the first thing that you do with the soaker is there's this middle cutout and that kind of doubles it up in the middle area in the wet zone. So the first thing that you're gonna do, do is work on your sewing machine. You can do the whole thing on the sewing machine with the zigzag stitch the whole way around but I'm gonna be using a serger to make it quicker on the legs and the waist. So the first thing you do is you set your wet zone protection in and kind of evenly space it there so that it's, you know, same distance at the narrow points and at the stomach here. And then you just zigzag stitch it on to the outside. You don't wanna use a straight stitch. You can use a stretch stitch if you wanted, but I do a zigzag and kind of put it over the edge like it's an applique. And I like to do the leg elastics next, or the leg fleece next. I'm just going to fold it in half. And then you're going to do it like you did the doll leggings. And you're going to put the outsides toward each other. And then you're just going to sew with a zigzag stitch or serge while stretching so that this ends up fitting the whole length of this. If you wanted to cut it a little bit longer at first and then just have something to pull on and then cut it at the end, you can. There's other ways to do the leg cuffs too. You could also pre-serge it into or pre-sew it into a circle and then do it, but I do it this way and then just go down the hip. And now because it's got this micro fleece, it pulls it a little tighter. So you get a little bit better fit around the legs and you can do a little bit bigger of a body. So if you had a really bulky fitted or a bulky prefold, then it would fit it a little better. It would hold a little more in, be a little easier to pull on and off. You can use this same method to do a pull up pull pattern. Like you could use the Katrina soaker pattern with pull and the, and the tighter leg cuffs with fleece and you could do a pull-up elastic free pull cover with just sewing up the sides and the fleece. And this is a great type of diaper cover to be like sort of like bloomers under a dress for a girl baby, or this could totally be like just over a swim diaper at the beach or just an around the house over any sort of fitted. It's a great cover for over fitteds and prefolds. Or if you have some delaminated older diapers, just make some covers like this and wear them over that. You'll get, you know, the waterproofing back. So now you've got your fleece leg cuffs done. You're going to turn it inside out and you're just going to surge or so from the legs up to the hips on the body. And we're gonna do the waistband last. And for the waistband, if you're sewing, you're gonna to wanna to take it and put the outside in, the attractive side inward, and then either zigzag or serge 
folded long ways, short size together. And then you're gonna fold it so that it's folded in half, just like the leg, just like the waist cuffs on the doll pants. And I like to put that seam right at the middle of the back, kind of, you can feel a tag, you could put it in right now. So I lay it in so that this is lined up with the middle of the back. And you can clip it or you can pin it, doesn't matter. If you're working with pull, you probably wouldn't want to pin it though. And again, I've made this smaller because it's micro fleece instead of regular fleece so that it's stretchier. But you could also just make her pattern as, as directed. This is just my modifications that I've made over the years. And there's your little modified Katrina style fleece cover. It could be fleece or wool or even pull. It's just an easy pull up cover. Easy stretchy waist, stretchy legs. It's just a great easy sew option to fit over fitteds or prefolds or delaminated older diapers. You could make it in a knit fabric with the legs and make like a little bloomers to go with a dress too. It doesn't have to be for diaper covers. And I'll put a link to their pattern in the description. Happy sewing.